Well, here we are, right back into the state championships again for basketball. It just seems like we were doing football, but now we're here we are with basketball. A lot of really great teams playing in this year's state championships. Well, it really is, and uh, it is almost hard to believe that football is over. It seems like yesterday that we were having this discussion about football, and here we are now at the basically the end yeah. of the basketball season and uh, it's an exciting time. So many great stories. South Central ranked sixth in the country by USA Today. Farmville boys and girls both undefeated. A lot of good storylines in these state championships. Well they really are. You know I was just telling a coach I said Forest Hills coach I said you know uh, some people never get a chance to come to a state championship yeah. one time but then to come back two times and yeah. to have an opportunity to perhaps be two-time defending state championship back-to-back -back years is, is really special and so uh, it is. It's what makes high school basketball so much fun. Had to deal with some obstacles again. There was teams in eastern North Carolina that had gyms that were unusable this year because of Hurricane Florence. So some other obstacles that you guys had to overcome this yeah, year. Yeah, you're right. The weather has just been one of those that we certainly we don't have any control over but once we we know that the weather is what it is then we do have to adjust our sails as Coach Yao used to say. We can't change the direction of the wind. We just have to adjust and so that's what we've done. Um, gyms not being able to um, to use and then of course we were faced with the situations first time back in Hickory after several right. years of being away and we had uh, so much talent on those teams that were going to be there so we were dealing with some of the issues of just being able to get fans into mm -hmm. our regional championships but you know what we've overcome and here we are. Um, your favorite part of this basketball weekend you have a, a strong basketball history what's your favorite part is it right before tip-off is it the trophy presentation what is your favorite part? My favorite part is right before tip-off just looking at the coaches faces mm -hmm. and looking at the players and seeing their excitement about being there and then what I love the most is when the game has ended and a winner has been determined score-wise and to see the faces of those young men and young women who have just experienced perhaps the thrill of their young lives. Now they will have many more um, because you know this is just a game we play but just watching that thrill of victory and then of course it is so heartbreaking to see the faces of those who come up as the the runners-up so to speak. They're not losers but they just are the runners-up so I love that particular aspect of the game. And I want to get your thoughts real quick. Rashid Wallace, former NBA guy, former UNC guy, getting into high school coaching at Jordan High School. Well, certainly it brings a spotlight yeah. uh, to the Jordan program. And uh, of course, one of the things that we want always is the best mentors, the best mm -hmm. role models who are in front of our young people. And I am hopeful that that will be the case <laughs> as, as uh, now Coach Wallace assumes that role and yeah. that he will embrace education-based yeah. athletics because it is different yeah. than the professional ranks and uh, so we'll see how that goes but we're excited for him and happy for him because if this is what he wishes then we wish that for him. It's going to be interesting. Q yes. Tucker thank you as always for uh, another successful high school basketball state championship uh, presentation. Thank you. Look forward to Saturday.